It is my distinct honor to introduce our last inductee of the evening. Uh, that's Kevin Swords. And uh, Kevin must have covered my whole career. He started before me, and he finished about two or three years after I hung up the boots. So he had a long career with the United States team. And he was a captain's dream. He was just so dependable on the field. He didn't think you were going to get any 40-meter runs down the sideline from Kevin, but you knew you were going to win your line out. You knew he was going to hit the rucks. You knew he was going to do everything he could in the malls and the scrums. And he was going to put down an 80-minute, honest 80-minute effort every time he took the field. And, uh, you know, he excelled at every level, at Holy Cross, at Old Blue, Beacon Hill, with the combined services and with the U.S. team. And when Kevin retired, he had 36 caps to his credit, which at the time was the most of any U.S. Art rugby player. And for those who have ever heard me talk at a rugby function, you know that I use Kevin's name a lot and one of my favorite stories, and I'll be really quick. We, I was the captain in 1990 team. We toured Australia. And if you remember, in 1991, Australia won the World Cup, so a lot of these 1990 players were on that team. And to cut a long story very short, we lost the game, I think it was about 63 to 9. And at the time, it was the biggest defeat ever by the United States. And it could have been a lot worse. There were only four-point tries back then. <laughs> so I'm trudging off the field knowing that I'm the captain of the U.S. side that, at the time, had suffered the biggest loss in history. And I never drank until after I gave my aftermatch speech. But on this occasion, once we hit the changing rooms, I started drinking. Continued to drink at the aftermatch function. And at the head table, it's Nick Farr Jones, who was the captain of the Wallaby team. And in between he and I was his wife. And she was trying to cheer me up the whole evening. And she goes, Brian, you got, you know, you shouldn't be so down. You, you guys tried your hardest. And uh, then she goes, you got to remember, this is maybe the best Wallaby team ever, you know, taken the field by Australia. And then she goes, and then you scored that try right at the end of the game. Who scored that try? So I pick my head up, I look around the room, and I see Swordsy at the bar. And I said, you see that big guy over there? And she goes, yeah. And I said, he scored the try. And then referring to Swordsy, I said, first try in 16 test. <laughs> and straight away, she goes, him or the team? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 U.S. Rugby Hall of Fame inductee, Kevin Swords. <laughs> 